करिए कुछ करिए नस नस मेरी खोले हाय कुछ करिए कुछ करिए कुछ करिए बस बस बड़ा बोले अब कुछ करिए international school banlaguda jaggi students looks like they're celebrating their annual sports day do you all want to take a closer look yes yeah. 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 i can listen to some voice over there let's be quiet and listen to it hey hello 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 it's an auspicious ritual lighting the lamp to begin an event we will now have a traditional auspicious lamp lighting ceremony Yes children once you decide to do something with all your heart you can become unbeatable Now why do children get up they look just so excited Children if i'm right they are going to perform a dance Oh great i can't wait for the magic to happen So ladies and gentlemen let us begin our day with a welcome dance a dance dedicated to sportsman spirit a dance to cheer our participants what else could be a possible way to fill them with urja the energy though the online drill practice is a routine but let me tell you that this show was staged in one day of offline practice 
Put your hands together for our students who have left no stone unturned to present this dance amongst you. Now, I welcome our honorable guests for today's event. Hugely elated to take an opportunity to welcome our chief guest of the day, Deputy Commissioner of Police, Traffic, Cyberabad, Sri S. M. Vijay Sharma, IPS. On behalf of the management, I thank you for providing your gracious presence to join us today to enhance our joy, sir. Mr. Sandeep Piala Manchali and Mr. Dega Vishnu Vardhan Reddy, the directors of our school. Our beloved principal, Ms. Harjinder Kaur. Our special guests, Ms. Ankita Banerjee, the vice principal of Birla Open Minds International School, LB Nagar. And Ms. Simi Isaac, the center head with La Open Minds International School, LB Nagar. May we warmly welcome you with a floral welcome. May I request our directors, Sandeep sir and Vishnu sir, to release the balloons and declare Urja a virtual annual sports day.
declare the virtual the annual sports day open annual sports day open thank you sir good luck ஒன்னும் <laughs> May I request our principal to light the torch for the torch bearing ceremony. possible this time and i had goosebumps and i'm sure you must have also had the same continuing with the order may i request sandeep sir a visionary a true mentor to share a few words with us hold on first of all let me thank uh, mr vijay sharma gar to be uh, a part of the event thank you sir for sparing your time and uh, being in the event being a part of the event uh i'll take this opportunity um to thank the entire police department uh which always uh, deserves a lot of respect and uh, more so in years like this yeah, yeah. where there is a lot of insecurity uh, you know among the society and all i think the police department has done a really really uh, good job uh thank you thank you one and all and uh, on behalf of the management uh, i would like to state that Bill Open Minds International School we always believe that uh, sports is an integral part of our schooling and it should always be an integral part of uh, students life and uh, even uh, after they graduate and move on uh, sports should ideally be a part of everyone's life sports teaches us so many things it uh, you know lets us enjoy our success and uh, it uh, lets us fail and uh, come back stronger learning from your failures and all it builds uh, it it builds so many uh, qualities among us uh, sportsmanship leadership qualities team work you know adapting to uh, strategies and all so th- this will always help the students this will always help one and all so we we believe that uh, sports is a very very important part of our life and in a true sense this year Uh, as we are going through this uh, virtual schooling uh, unfortunately physical uh, sports is not part of the students life but uh, i really have to appreciate uh, our, our staff's idea to have a virtual sports day uh, it's a great idea 
and uh, looks like uh, you've been doing a great job so far i'm pretty sure the entire event will be very exciting so let me take this opportunity uh, to congratulate all my staff members led by our principal ms harjinder kaur you know to come up with an idea in the first place to have a virtual sports program when i first heard uh, from ma'am about the virtual sports program so i was kind of very surprised that you're going with this ma'am uh, but so far so good uh, i'm pretty sure uh, I, all, all of you will uh, uh, pull it off today you'll do a good job and uh, thank you parents for being so supportive and uh, students good luck best of luck enjoy the rest of the event i'm pretty sure you will thank you thank you one and all thank you sir we are sure that this event will be definitely a huge success vishnu sir a man of few words good morning uh, everyone i'm uh, very happy to address all of you this morning a very warm welcome to our chief guest respected dcp sir mr vijay sharma thank you sir for accepting our invitation and gracing this new age event uh, i think most the one of the most popular word that we been words that we been hearing 2020 have been pandemic and corona but there's one constructive word that we have been hearing a lot during this pandemic this word has gained a prominence tremendously in all walks of life that word is online you know i mean we've been doing everything online the, this year i mean there were so many things that we didn't imagine that we were, that we would do online that we've been uh, doing it this year this event i feel is one such event that we never imagined that we can actually do a online sports event i mean definitely uh, thank you ma'am uh, for coming up with this idea as uh, sandeep was saying i mean when we first heard this we were kind of surprised uh, it's like can we actually we yeah, are doing an annual sports uh, i mean uh, annual day and uh, other events are fine but a sports day uh, is something very very new and uh, looking at how things have shaped up till now it's tremendously very very well planned and very very well done i'm sure uh, you know it'll be a very very good uh, great success ma'am and uh, i would like to wish our children teachers staff principal ma'am and definitely parents all the very best thank you the deputy commissioner of police traffic Cyberaba, Mr. S. M. Vijay Sharma, IPS, from the 2012 batch of IPS officers. Thank you, sir, for taking time out to grace this event with your presence. May I request you to share a few words to inspire our kids? Yeah. Good morning, uh, everyone. Firstly, I will uh, correct uh, my name. I am. Uh, SM Vijay Kumar DCP Traffic Hyderabad and secondly i convey my uh, gratitude to the management of this school birla open minds international school bandlaguda jagir and particularly uh, ms harjinder kaur the principal of this school for inviting me for this uh, virtual event to address uh, all these young uh, students and thirdly i feel uh, elated to be part of uh, such an event a very creative and innovative uh, way of conducting uh, this annual sports day for the young kids uh, who are uh, i think uh, who have been uh, getting bored in their homes uh, for all these uh, days due to the pandemic a uh, lot of kids have been uh, stuck at home and uh, for many months uh, they could not come out uh, after the lockdown uh, regulations have been uh, loosened now at least uh, they are coming out and uh, seeing the world but uh, going to the school being in a classroom and uh, uh, be uh, very active in uh, various activities uh, among their friends uh, would be something uh, which is uh, unmatchable uh, but though the school's uh, innovative idea of having a virtual session involving all the kids uh, for this annual day event uh, is very 
praiseworthy and uh, on behalf of uh, cyberabad the police and uh, particularly cyberabad traffic police i convey uh, my best wishes uh, to all the kids and the school uh, management and all the teaching and non teaching staff of the school uh, and i wish all the best uh, for this uh, event taking this opportunity i would uh, express uh, my thoughts to all the kids very young kids Uh, that uh, as dcp traffic uh, my duty is uh, to convey uh, various things about uh, road safety particularly so every year in india almost uh, 1.5 lakh uh, people die in uh, road accidents with various reasons so main reasons for them is uh, the indiscipline on the roads uh, by the drivers i hope uh, all the students of uh, this birla open minds international school are also taught uh, various uh, road safety principles uh, traffic rules during their young days and they come up uh, as very good drivers and uh, uh, very good citizens with who value uh, the rules and regulations in the society and become uh, volunteers of uh, road safety in the country and also i would convey my gratitude to mr sandeep from the management of the school who acknowledged the great efforts put by telangana city police during the lockdown covid lockdown it was a very difficult time for police as well because police had to take care of themselves and also had to ensure the implementation of various government orders for the public safety during all those months it was uh, very difficult for uh, police and for the citizens as well but uh, as a uh, team work uh, both public and police could uh, come out of uh, difficult times now the situation is uh, somewhat better and uh, there is vaccine now and a uh, lot of uh, frontline workers have been uh, uh, getting the vaccine vaccinated and uh, in due course of time all the citizens will also get uh, vaccinated and uh, i hope uh, in uh, uh, pretty pretty soon uh, we, we we all will uh, come out totally of this pandemic thank you so much also i taking this opportunity i would uh, say a few words uh, to the uh, students so in my experience uh, as police officer and as a public servant what i found uh, in our society is that uh, we achieve a lot of things in our personal lives but uh, when it comes to the community life uh, in india we have a long way to go in uh, learning so many things uh, to be democratic in our uh, daily lives respecting other people's rights and doing our duties promptly uh, with honesty so that is what uh, is missing in most of us so daily on roads uh, we see a lot of people trying to evade uh, action for their uh, traffic rule violations and uh, in you know on the footpath a lot of people spit and uh, they throw garbage on the roads and uh, people quarrel on the roads for very petty things and cause a uh, traffic congestion and uh, people throw all the dirt water onto the streets and uh, people don't respect uh, other people's rights on the roads and public places so these things uh, do not uh, give a good image about our society so what makes uh, a good society is its own uh, citizens the citizens uh, if they are uh, respecting their own uh, rules and regulations and they value the democratic principles in the society and they respect other people's rights and they do their duties uh, very promptly with uh, utmost honesty then only the society uh, will bear a good outlook uh, to the entire world so i request all of you to understand these things uh, from the very beginning of your uh, life uh, at very young age and uh, become very good citizen Uh, of our society uh, you should not uh, lie you should not steal 
and when you take a loan you should return it uh, in time and uh, you should uh, respect other people's rights and uh, you should not uh, feel ashamed to tell the truth and uh, you should uh, be very honest uh, not cheat uh, anybody and uh, respect uh, the rules uh, in the society and uh, become very good uh, citizens and uh, not to be afraid of the unknown what you don't know you should not be afraid you should be curious and you should uh, dig deep and find out the truth and then understand uh, the truth and uh, always uh, have critical thinking don't believe anything blindly uh, keep questioning uh, keep uh, learning new things and only when you question then only you will get to know the truth if you don't question uh, then uh, you won't know the truth and uh, in to that extent you will be uh, in darkness so uh, never be afraid of the unknown keep questioning be curious and uh, learn new things uh, you can learn new things uh, by mostly two things one by roaming in the world and second by reading books and third by learning new languages so i request all of you to do these three things uh, wherever possible whenever possible keep roaming in the world second keep reading new books and third keep learning new languages so with this i end here uh, with my best wishes for all of you uh, in this annual sports day i hope all of you would uh, engage yourselves and enjoy uh, all the event in all the events uh, that have been planned uh, by the school for all of you and i also hope that uh, all your parents also uh, who are listening to me also allow you to take part in all the events and also uh, to encourage all of you to take up new endeavors in your lives uh, so as to become very good citizens uh, to create a very peaceful and a meaningful and a very honest uh, atmosphere in the society uh, thank you and lastly i convey my uh, gratitude again uh, to the school management particularly uh, ms uh, harjinder kaur madam principal of the school and also uh, to all the students for patiently listening to me thank you thank you thank sir you. your words your thoughts your suggestions will go long way to shape up the thought process of our kids and the education system thank you sir she is a seasoned scholar and the navigator of this flagship of knowledge someone who leads from the front miss harjinder kaur our principal may i invite you to share your thoughts and express your gratitude to our chief guest uh, deputy commissioner of police respected shri s n vijay kumar ips traffic cyberabad it's a great honor and pride for all of us for the entire bomis bangladesh team to have you in our midst today thank you so much for sparing your precious time so your words have actually they are going to echo for years together and uh, you've actually reminded us of our duties uh, towards our democratic country and i'm sure they'll stay with us for very long because uh, we um, you are the one who are actually providing us safety security to stay uh, at this in this place and of course we also congratulate the entire police department as uh, sandeep sir said very shortly it is very important for us to honor your uh, services thank you so much sir for providing such great services to the nation uh, your inspirational words as i said they're going to stay for very long with all our children and with all of us i would also uh, like to uh, address directors of bomis group of schools honorable sandeep sir and uh, vishnu sir thank you sir once again for your far sighted vision and support which is actually taking the school to greater heights it's your support which is actually taking the school to greater heights uh, because um, without your support nothing would have ever been possible 
And I also thank you, thank our special guests, Vice Principal, Ms. Ankita Banerjee, and Center Head of Pre-Primary of Gomez, Ms. Simi Isaac. Also, I would like to thank guest principals, coordinators, heads of departments, and teachers of different schools who are present here, and informed BOMIS parents and lovely BOMIS kids. And of course, last but not the least, the top-notch team, Team Bandagura, including creative department, admin department, marketing, operations, you are now almost a force to reckon with. Thank you so much, all of you, for being a part of today's inaugural ceremony of Virtual Annual Sports Day 2021. Isn't it an amazing and healthful day today? The pandemic had posed big threats and hurdles for schools, reducing mobilization to almost nil. We, the teaching fraternity, kept worrying about our students' mental and physical health. The forced lethargic lifestyle at such a tender age was definitely a matter of worry. Hence, as a school, we felt the need for showing the importance of sports that takes care of both physical and mental wellness. To bring to notice of particularly the students, you know, playing sports boosts blood flow to the brain. The body helps in making more connections between nerves and brain, which improves memory, stimulates creativity, and helps brain develop problem-solving skills. Actually, sports improves academic performance. You know, uh, it's very important that for at least three to four days a week and for at least an hour, you must play sports. It enables better social skills too and keeps you healthy, happy, and glowing. Research has also proved that even watching sports affects the neural network positively and improves brain functioning. In short, Sports instill the right confidence in every child to face the tough world. With this objective and need base in mind, the virtual annual sports was processed with tailor-made and uh, meticulously designed grade-wise sports to be executed on a virtual platform. Hope we have been successful in dispensing a few, if not many, essential ingredients for a healthy future of our lovely kids. I must congratulate all the BOMIS kids at this uh, point of time, including those who have somehow not been able to make it to the finals. As uh, Sandeep sir had also said, in sports, one side wins and the other gets defeated. And a good sportsman shows sportsman spirit by accepting the defeat gracefully by congratulating the winner and tries harder next time. Remember, there's always a next chance. Best wishes to all those who have reached finals. Keep your spirits high, prove your worth. To conclude, I, may I thank our chief guest once again, DCP Sir, uh, Traffic Cyberbad, uh, for making the event so special and a memorable one. Thank you. I think thanking is uh, a very small gesture. Uh, you really deserve a real gratitude for what you've, uh, the how, how you've actually shaped our program. Thank you so much once again. And today's message for all is fit is hit. Just go out and play. Stay fit, stay hit, stay motivated, stay happy, and stay blessed. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much. And now, I have heard everyone talking about how this virtual sports day. So we thought, why not give you a glimpse of what we are going to have in the respective links. So I'm sure you are all awaiting to have that little glimpse before we disperse to our individual links of the classrooms. Let me uh, take you through a glimpse. Over to you, Smita. Thank you, Sristi, ma'am. Before I start, good morning, one and all present here. Uh, actually, uh, this is uh, myself, Smita, and today we are going to start with a glimpse of our program and the virtual platform. Uh, first of all, I would like to say that uh, congratulations to all the participants who have uh, uh, reached to final competition. And here, we, before we start with uh, dribbling the uh, ball dribbling. Dribbling is essentially the art of moving the ball 
pass your opponent without him being able to tackle such that you retain possession dribbling makes it easier to achieve the aim of the game scoring a goal because ultimately the only the thing that stands between you and the scoring goals is the opposition in sports dribbling is maneuvering a ball by one player while moving in a given direction using the ball to dribble also improves strength and endurance which is the ability to perform the same task with a good technique repeatedly players at all levels must be able to skillfully and handle the basketball as our billard principal hajinder kaur ma'am told that sports gives you lot of strength right so lionel messi is not only one of the best players in the world but apparently he is the best dribbler in the world no player around can dribble with such consistency and effectiveness i would like uh, i would like to say that all our students be with the high spirits with good energy take balanced diet now i request sani of grade 5 to show his intent talent Yeah, yes, what? Yes, you're on. Good, Sunny. You're being with high spirit. Be energetic, and he's two meters away from the wall. And see, he's well doing with the things. And our students are very good in achieving these things. and he have even drawn the line to show that he is 2 meters away from the uh, wall it clearly shows how meticulously the kids have on practice and how confidence uh, how confident these kids are yes tristy ma'am they are very confident Well done, Sani. Thank you, Sani. Thank you very much for your showing your Indian talent. Over to Lalita, ma'am. Thank you, Smita, ma'am. So, coming to the next category, we have diagonal hopscotch. In this one, when ma'am explained the procedure how to do the hopscotch, we teachers felt it will be very difficult. but within no time our students have got the expertise and they are doing it to their best and let's see how their performance is now so now i uh, i request shrishant of grade 4 to do the diagonal hopscotch shrishant Shishan, yeah, you you will start when I blow the whistle. Please take the position. This definitely reminds of our childhood days. Look at the amount of confidence. so actually in this one if the child touches if the child touches any of the boundary lines of the boxes we will count that as a mistake and the child with the minimum number of mistakes 
we will uh, we will announce them as the winner but here shishant you have done no mistakes zero mistakes none, none of the lines you have touched good job great now the sales grade two is category over to you uh, grade three is category over to you ruchi ma'am thank you ma'am so here in this category they need to uh, do backward skipping so inesh is the one who is doing brilliantly so i will do spotlight inesh now here the child he needs to uh, jump on the balls of his feet with his body fairly erect and uh, we would make sure that his he should not touch the ground so inesh can you please go back little back so that i can see your feet as well a little back inesh back yes please go back further further okay so please start once i blow the whistle all right when i tried my knees hurt but it's a piece of cake for you know it's like it's a cake work yeah. for you ruchi and Great. that to backward swing wow i that that is either true true that you know his strategy his strength it's commendable that shows that how focused how organized you know the muscles the strength of his muscles very <laughs> good well done inesh well done thank you so much well done you can we can yes. all use our emojis and emoticons to cheer the kids okay well, so now thank you thank you anesh thank you ma'am and over to you swarna ma'am so thank you ms ruchi ma'am uh before i start uh, let me uh, wish good morning to everyone and all present here okay so as we all know about all the basic locomotive exercise as just we have seen the two or three uh, sports let me put some light on one activity which was done just now reverse uh, which is a great calorie burner okay and which also improves the cardiovascular system uh, not only these but we also have many many other benefits so let me call veda from grade 2 to perform this sport uh, the same thing skipping uh step by step forward swing okay veda yes ma'am yes welcome veda good morning good morning ma'am yeah. let's start veda yes so yes very good it's just the step by step and it's forward swing great way the excellent and you know in practice session she did continuously around 100 to 150 without getting tangled that's great great way the superb wow that's too good thank you excellent excellent way the really shows your hard work Oh, very well done thank you so much swarna thank you ma'am over to supraja ma'am for grade 1 such little kids doing such wonders isn't it wonderful <laughs> supraja ma'am are you here Okay. Yeah, she's here. You want your boy? No. Never mind. Can we have your? I'll help you. So can we? Can you spotlight your uh, student? And me. Okay. Hi can you unmute Victim is is that your student Okay i can see a hurdle jump right all right so are you ready On your mark get set and go
the audience who is seeing they must be feeling that this is a simple thing but trust me try it once you will know how hard this is it requires a lot of strength to jump across this kind of a hurdle and with both your legs together wow well done pritam thank you so much thank you thank you so much can we have somebody from k2 please uh yeah thank you sonali over to you yeah good morning everyone this is uh, k2 teacher sonali uh today uh, i'm going to call uh, kurupati gnanesh uh, to perform the sports ready study and jump okay and he is a power pack with lot of strength stamina stamina and what not okay let me tell you he is there in all the four sports in the finals okay nanesh ready yes okay so Here we go. Can you fix the camera on the shoes, Anish? Yes. And Anish, 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 Anish. Wow, Anish, 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 Anish. Nanesh, Nanesh, superb Nanesh, 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 Nanesh. I don't remember if I was able to tie my shoelaces when I was this young. Wow, he just took. just took 48 seconds 14 50 seconds to tie the shoelace good very well done that is so perfect and now we go to jumping jack yes one two to start yes one two three four five six seven eight nine ten left when 12 30 40 i think 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 20 she has to restore his energy he has to restore his energy uh, well done keep it up keep up the spirit congratulations thank you thank you nanesh now over to uh, k1 ma'am sapna ma'am please take over i will like to take a moment here and uh, let our audience know while we were we, ma'am has already told you that we were we had tailor made these uh, events so we didn't want uh, we wanted something for k1 and k2 kids also and they are too small too too tiny to do something with ball and bat and then we thought why not teach them or why not get them rehearsal of certain things which will help them in their daily activities and if you go to the respective links you will see how magically how how conveniently how comfortably they are pegging the clothes they are uh, doing something like this what nanesh did i am truly amazed uh, over to you sapna ma'am yeah good morning everyone our present here yes i like to call upon dhairya pansal yeah he is the one uh, like uh, he is going to perform leg up balance uh, during the rehearsals uh, yeah please stand up dhairya yeah he could able to balance his complete body on one leg and he was almost doing it for 3 minutes during the rehearsals and he was focusing this uh, sport will increase the muscle strength of the child okay dhairya are you there ready okay yeah when i blow the whistle your time starts okay so you have to be ready ready steady start the area yes come on keep going very well done very well done very well done very good wonderful 
keep focusing keep going that's great come on dairya come on come on come on come on come on keep going keep going keep going <coughs> wonderful wonderful see the focus the concentration the balancing yes, wow well, these tiny tots can't sit for a few seconds yes. and standing yes. on one leg isn't it commendable we must yes. we must applaud for this small boy super dairya 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 come on you keep it up keep going keep going dairya wow it also shows how meticulously each teacher has dedicated her time her energy her focus on their kids thank you so much teachers for the parents because they, they have also <laughs> been supporting yeah also yeah yes so almost done for a minute he crossed one minute 10 seconds well done dairya thank you so much thank you so much you can you can stand on your both the legs dairya stop stop dairya yes yes very good very well done yeah over to sister bam thank you so much i am sure each one of you uh, would want to have a more of these glimpses but uh, now the kids have to run back to their respective links and start their sport event i hope you like this little glimpse that we showed you yeah. ma'am we will disperse to our own respective links thank you